huh, fully installed it. So this is our system where uh, you know right side it is plus x, left side it is minus x, and there's the origin. Right? Now we are going to discuss one interesting problem. So here what you see is there is a bus. Hmm? Inside bus there is a person sitting, and I'm going to call him as Vivek, and there is a person standing on the road. Right? And uh, at present you see that the bus is at rest. And uh, what you see is the floor of the bus. The floor of the bus is smooth. That means there is no friction between the suitcase and the floor. And uh, at rest, everything is at rest. Right? So with respect to the person on the road, all the uh, points on the bus, the Mr. Vivek who is sitting inside the bus box, etc., everything is at rest. Okay? Huh. Now, <coughs> so as I told you, everything is at rest. This is what I mentioned here. Okay, now the bus is going to move with uniform velocity. So if the bus is moving, at some point of time, the bus is moving with uniform velocity. So what will you see? What is the person on the road, what will you see? Answer, you, can you not imagine the bus now, just now I showed you? The, the, there is a suitcase and the bus and there is a person sitting inside. So the entire bus is moving with uniform velocity. So if there is a person on the road, what will he see? Loud, loud. Loud. He will see that the bus and the uh, and Vivek and the box uh, are moving with uniform velocity. Excellent. All of them are going to move with uniform velocity. Yes, Correct? I hope all of you can understand. That's very nicely done. Okay. So this is precisely that is the representation. You can see that I have shown three velocity vectors. All the velocity vectors are same. I hope you understood this. Yes, and sir. this is exactly how you should represent it. This is physics way of telling you. So you can see all this is going to the same velocity, right? <coughs> now, at some point of time, the bus is traveling with university with respect to the road. Identical velocity vectors are associated with the bus, Vivek and suitcase. This is precisely what you have seen, right? Now again, the same direction. Now the bus is now moving with constant acceleration, a bus minus x cap. You are, I hope you understood the notation here. Yes, yes sir. sir. Everybody? Yes, yes sir. sir. Great students. So you are all 8th standard students. You are able to understand this notation. That's wonderful. Okay. So now I am representing it this. So now the person on the road, what does he see? He sees that the bus is accelerating. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, the Mr. Vivek is also accelerating. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about the box? Is the box accelerating? Hello? Mm -hmm. ah, you tell, don't worry, don't worry. If you feel box also should accelerate, there is something wrong in the diagram, you can tell. Nothing, you have to understand. It's not that whatever I have written is correct. It may be wrong, it may be right. So you have to apply science and tell me. Is it right? Wrong, sir. What is wrong? You have not shown the vector of the box. Vector of the box means what? Uh, uh, velocity vector. Velocity vector. Or uh, acceleration vector of the box. Good. So he is telling I have not shown the acceleration sir. vector or velocity vector. Sir, if huh. sir, bus accelerator the box accelerator. Bus accelerator or box accelerator, so I have not shown that. Yes. Huh. Sir, in lenses. In your matter. Sir, uh, accelerate angle Accelerate angle. What have you got to say? See, everybody is answering. Only Swish, Harshita and Pritam is not answering. See, you have to understand science. So, now you see, at some point of time, the box was at rest. And immediately, next instant of time, the bus is, ac bus is accelerated. That is one condition. Or the box was moving, the whole bus was moving with some velocity. And now suddenly the driver starts accelerating. That is another condition. So prior to the driver accelerating the bus, if the bus was moving with uniform velocity, right? Hello? Then I have shown the previous diagram, all the all the 
boxes had same uniform velocity vectors. Hello? Huh? Huh. But now I have not shown the velocity vectors. The bus is having some velocity. Now I have not shown the velocity vectors. If I show the velocity vectors, I will show velocity vector for the bus, for the box and for the person. This is one thing. See, the body is traveling. Right? Your, your, your bus is traveling. Driver applies the acceleration. Then what do you see? The body accelerates, but at the same time, at that instant, it will have velocity vector also, it will have acceleration yes, vector. Yes, Cut it down. Yes, sir. It will have both, right? It will have velocity vector also, it will have acceleration vector. Okay, huh. now in this context, I have shown only the acceleration vector. Yes, all of them are having same velocities at that instant of time. At that instant of time where he has pressed the acceleration button. But when he has pressed the acceleration button, only the frame of the bus is accelerating because the driver has applied the acceleration to the bus. And because Mr. Vivek is also inside the bus, he will also accelerate. Huh. But the floor of the bus is smooth. So, whatever external force is acted on the bus, that will not get transferred to the suitcase. So, therefore, the suitcase is not accelerating. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, what is the condition for the suitcase? Hello, it is not, what, what, what is the condition here? That means now, the net force on the suitcase is zero. So, when the net force on the suitcase is zero, then, what happens to the suitcase? If the net force on the suitcase is zero, what happens? So it will be at rest. It will be at rest, but if it was already moving with some velocity? So we should think. If it is already moving with some velocity? So it will be moving in uniform velocity. So will it be at rest or will it be in uniform velocity? Uniform velocity. It will not be in rest? No, but supposing before he, he before he Presses the accelerator button, it was at rest. But supposing when, when you press the acceleration button, it was moving with some velocity. Net velocity. So that when the net force on the box is zero, net force is zero, what is what happens? I have taught you. The state of motion of the box will not change. Correct now? State of motion will not change means what? Before acceleration of is applied, the body was at rest, it continues to be at rest. After the net force acts, then if the body was already moving with certain velocity, then the body will continue to move with the same velocity. Understood now? And the bus accelerate the box The state of motion of the box will not change. Why? Bus smooth flow like that. Huh. The the bus will get traveled. The convey will not get. Can, uh, the force on the bus will not get transferred to the box. Oh, yes. And so the net force on the box is zero. zero. And therefore its state of motion does not change. change. Correct. Understood. Yes, sir. Huh. So that is what will happen. Okay. Huh. Now let us see the condition. So the person on the road will see these vectors as you have seen. Hello? Huh. But now what is Vivek going to see? The suitcase due to inertia of motion will not change the state of motion. But Vivek is accelerating towards the suitcase. Is it the suitcase state of motion did not change? But Vivek is accelerating. So Vivek feels he is going towards the suitcase. Correct? Actually, Vivek is going towards the suitcase. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Huh. yes, sir. Okay. But Vivek is accelerating towards the suitcase. But what will Vivek feel? See, the person on the road will see that Vivek is moving towards the suitcase. Yes, but sir. what will Vivek feel? Vivek will feel? Suitcase is coming towards him. Isn't it? Right? So, Vivek will feel the suitcase so, is coming towards him. The person on the road knows that Vivek and the bus is accelerating yes, yes, and Vivek is moving towards the suitcase. But Vivek is inside the bus, so he will feel the suitcase is coming towards him. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Huh. So, this is the condition. 
ठीक है सो देन व्हाट विल व्हाट बट विवेक इज समबडी लाइक यू हु नोस न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ मोशन सो ही विल सी बिकॉज इनसाइड द बस ही डजंट नो दैट द बस इज एक्सेलरेटिंग बट ही सीज द सूटकेस इज एक्सेलरेटिंग टुवर्ड्स हिम एंड विवेक इज समबडी लाइक यू हु नोस न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ मोशन करेक्ट सो विवेक विल be amazed he will be puzzled he will start thinking oh what force is acting there should be some force acting on the suitcase actually the force is acting on vivek yes. but vivek will feel that some force is acting on the suitcase are you getting it yes sir these are the real time problems huh? right <laughs> so you see here an external force f bus minus x acts on the bus and the corresponding acceleration vector a bus minus x is attached to the bus and b vivek observes that the suitcase is gaining speed towards c since vivek is inside the bus he is at rest with respect to bus so he associates acceleration vector a suitcase x cap towards himself are you understanding this yes sir uh, so you need to next time when i ask you something like this you need to narrate it like this you need to narrate it like this see i am using the right notation right symbols right the correct way of you know representation right so it see some next problem when i give you you should be able to create this narration and explain try to do that your brain will grow hmm? you will start becoming an excellent student right okay so you see here now so vivek is wondering there is a force acting right huh. now whatever vivek is wondering if it has to be true so vivek is thinking that he is vivek is thinking he is at rest and therefore he is imagining the force is coming the there is force acting on the suitcase okay now therefore if vivek has to apply newton's laws of motion we have to make the acceleration of the bus itself zero notionally so how will you make the acceleration of the bus zero notionally and then theoretically on the paper so you will add a external force vector on the bus see already already there was a force vector acting you can see this hello yes sir now you have added this vector so you have added this vector in such a manner that the acceleration of the bus becomes zero zero right and so this frame of the frame in which vivek is sitting becomes non accelerating frame or it becomes inertial frame of reference and now vivek is right in thinking there is a force acting right and now since he he is he feels he is at rest now we have notionally made the bus at rest by adding this force vector to the bus and inward in turn you know because we have made the bus to not to accelerate then vivek is now at rest but the suitcase is moving so we can associate this pseudo vector to the suitcase also. and so now he can apply newton's law of motion is it clear yes sir ha huh. now read this and try to understand but then he wonders okay how the suitcase accelerate without force so he imagines a force the suitcase i hope all of you can read this and hope you can understand the notation if you have any doubt to please ask so your question was while traveling in a bus if the driver applies brakes why do things move forward okay so if the question that you asked for that the answer is this okay fine okay so this is part 1 right now i'll take you to the next part